suppose the limit of f is l the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is n and the limit of the product of f and g is 1 what can we say about the limit of g here we need to be very careful to answer this kind of problem okay what is given the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is given which is l and the limit of uh, the product of the two function f and g the limit of the product of f and g is given as x approaches to a is 1 so what can you say about the limit of g uh, so the limit of g may or may not exist okay the limit of f i mean the limit of g as x approaches to a may or may not exist may not exist for example for example if we if we take as an example if we take let f of x is or f is x and consider g is 1 over x okay obviously uh, for these two function for these two function uh, we can see that the limit of the limit of f as x approaches to 0 is 0 okay here you can consider l as 0 but but the limit of g the limit of g as x approaches to 0 doesn't exist okay so uh, here the limit of f exists the limit of g doesn't exist but if we see if we see the limit of f of x times g of x you can check that the limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches to zero is one okay because the limit of f of x means x g of x means one over x as x approaches to zero means uh, this is one okay because this x can be cancelled out the limit is one so there are uh, such conditions in which the limit of g may or may not exist if the limit of g exists the result will be one over l when we see the b part if the limit of f plus g exists and the limit of f exists what can you what can we say about the limit of g if the limit of f plus g exists the limit of f exists then what can we say about the limit of g so here so here the b part uh, since the limit of f exists since the limit of f as x approaches to some number exists then the limit of the negative of f also exists as x approaches to a it exists okay since the limit of f plus g as x approaches to a and the limit of uh, minus f as x approaches to a exists okay since these two limits exists the sum of their their sum the limit of their sum is also exists so this implies this implies the limit of f plus g plus minus f as x approaches to a exists okay this implies this implies the limit of g as x approaches to a exists okay so this is our answer prove that if there is a number m such that the absolute value of f of x minus l over x minus l is an or course to m for x different from c actually this is not c it should be a then the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is l we will prove this fact using the given condition okay so uh, in proving this number eight in proving number eight we start from the fact that uh, given m given given m 
uh, such that such that the absolute value of a of x minus l over x minus a is less than or equals to m m okay for x different from a actually the question should be written in this form for x different from a if this inequality holds true then we want to show that based on this fact we want to show that the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is l okay we start we start from this fact and reach on this part okay so let's let's begin from the given information let's take the inequality so from this inequality from this inequality we can see that uh, we use this fact absolute value of x is less than or equals to some number k means uh, this means minus k is between x i mean x is between minus k and k okay so uh, absolute value of absolute value of f of x minus l over x minus a less than or equals to m implies this implies uh, minus m is less than or equals to f of x minus l over x minus a this is less than or equals to m okay from this inequality we can reach here so multiplying every each part by x minus a we can get that minus m times x minus a this is less than or equals to f of x minus l this is less than or equals to m times m times x minus a okay this implies adding l on each side this implies l minus m times x minus a is less than or equals to f of x this is less than or equals to l plus m times x minus a okay from this inequality we can get we can get this part okay now we can take the limit in each side the limit as x approaches to a so the limit of l minus m times x minus a as x approaches to a is less than or equals to the limit of f of x as x approaches to a this is less than or equals to the limit of l plus m into x minus a as x approaches to a now you can directly substitute a in place of x substitute a so this implies the limit on the left part becomes l because when we substitute a here in place of x everything this becomes zero so it becomes l is less than or equals to the limit of f of x as x approaches to a this is less than or equals to uh, l because here if you substitute a in place of x if you substitute a in place of x a minus a is zero zero times m is zero so it becomes l so by squeezing theorem uh, this value this term is between l and l so there is no other value between the same number so this implies the limit of f of x as x approaches to a should be l okay this is how we can profit